Your Excellency, the President, my brother, Uhuru Migai Kinyata, the Deputy President, William Ruto, Waziri Kutoka Tanzania, Ndugu Palamagamba Kabudi, Your Excellencies, uh, members of the Diplomatic Corps, Wakenya wote ambao wako hapa hamjambo. Hamjambo tena. Your Excellency, we are here in Langata at Bomas. So if Kibra is the bedroom, Langata is the sitting room. <laughs> we have come back to Bomas of Kenya, a historical, historic place where we spent very many days over 10 years ago talking about the future of our country. At that time, we did not agree, and we ended up as bananas and oranges. But we have come back here to again start a new journey. You remember, in August 13, uh, 2017, that's about five or six days after the elections, we came here, invited by the Electoral Commission to announce the results. And we engaged them in an argument. And you had come here to be announced as a winner. But that did not take place. It was deferred. And there, after then they came and announced the results. A day later, we did not attend that occasion. Instead, we found ourselves in the Supreme Court, which did its pronouncement. And then eventually, we were not there on the 26th of October for reasons that we made clear to the people. You ended up in Kasarani, and we ended up in Uhuru Park. <laughs> that is where we are coming from. So now we ended up the president and the people's president. <laughs> so officially. And then our people said that, oh, now that we've been sworn in, let us now remove all the portraits of the president from all public buildings in our strongholds and heap them somewhere and touch them and declare ourselves sovereign and begin to collect taxes and do our things. I looked at that and I say that that is taking Kenya to Somalia or to... Then, on the other hand, your, the president, people told him, we say that if somebody else is sworn, that is treason. Arrest him, prosecute him, and hang him. So arrest Raila now. <laughs> and the president also had an issue with that one. It is under those circumstances that councils of goodwill prevailed. And we ended up, me and the president, having a conversation. It took 19 hours. And it was not easy, as the president will explain to you later, when we began. Because we had called each other all sorts of names. And, uh, Eventually, after all that long deliberations, we agreed that we now have something that we can actually put together. That's how we then invited some lawyers to come and put our views together. But we told them exactly what we thought was wrong with our society, what needed to be corrected, and gave them the responsibility of putting it together. And then they put it together, 
And we said that we'll have this conversation just among ourselves first. And we're not talking about 2022. We're talking about 2017 going backwards. How we can change this country, create a new narrative, and bring the country together. So we are very happy that today we've been joined here and to go here to Kutoka, Tanzania. Jana usiku, Rais Magufuli ya nipiga simu. Hakaniambia mimi waziri yangu yuko pale ni nimtuma kwa Rais Uhuru. Na nimambia abaki huko, awe na nyinyi kesho kwenye kongamano yetu. Yeni. Na nikamambia hiyo itakuwa mbora zaidi. Manake aji hapa walezi wa Kenya vile Tanzania inatawaliwa. Manake vile amekuwa mbia vinyinyi kule Tanzania ukiuliza mtu wewe ni kabila gani atakwambia wewe ni mkenya. Hapa Tanzania atuulizi kabila. Unalizwa mtu unatoka jimbo gani? Au ni gani? Kwa sababu ya ili uongozi bora ambayo Mwalimu Nyerere aleleta huko akaleta ili kitu naitwa utanzania wa Tanzania wanadumisha kitu naitwa utanzania Tanzania kwanza kabila pili na ndio sababu mmeona mwalimu Nyerere alitoka kwa kabila ndogo ya wazanaki na akawa rais wa Tanzania Mwinyi anatoka Zanzibar kisiwa kidogo sana Mkapa anataka kwa kabila ndogo huko pande ya Mtwara huko. Kikwete anatoka huko Bagamoyo kabila ndogo tena. Wanako uh, wanohusiana na Wakamba hapo kwetu. <laughs> Hata Magufuli. Akoja kwa lile kabila kubwa Tanzania kama Wasukuma, Mnyamwezi au Wachaga aje kupata uongozi huko Tanzania. Mwana haki wangangalie kabila Wanangale we ni mtu gani Na hiyo ndiyo Kenya mpia tunataka kujenga Tuliongea na ndugu yangu tukasema Wewe na mimi ukisimama pale na mizimama pande hii Tukishikana mkono tutaweza kuunganisha taifa hili la Kenya Kwa vizazi mbao zinakuja Kwa hivyo siangalie yale mpendekezi mtoka pale sema oh siji nini Raila atakuwa nini lile moja hii si mabadiliko ya Raila au kwa Raila Raila yuko leo kesho hata kuweko uhuru vile vile hata kuweko kesho lakini Kenya itaendelea mbele Hiyo ndio mpendekezo ya kwanza ya umoja pili wameongea juu ya mambo ya ufisadi na ufisadi tumeongea juu yake kwa muda mrefu zaidi si kila mara tunaongea juu ya ufisadi lakini hatujachukua hatua kambambe ya kukabiliana na hii mnyama anaitwa ufisadi sasa mtoa pendekezo ambayo inaweza kueleweka tumesema ya kwamba watumishi wa umma wasiwe watu bao wanafanya biashara if you are a public servant be a public servant don't engage in business manaka hiyo ni na cause ile conflict of interest kandarasi natoka wewe ndio unaandika hizo na kampuni yako vile vile ni moja ya yale makampuni ambazo zina tender usifanye biashara hata nje toka kwa serikali ndio waende kufanya biashara hiyo ni moja ambayo imeletwa hapo pendekezo ambayo sisi tunaunga mkono kwa that sana sasa mambo mengine wameleta vile vile maneno ya kuboresha utawala improve on the executive to create inclusivity and that's where positions are being created they're not being created for any other particular person that again we support Alafu mwingine ni mambo ya ugatuzi vile vile wamependekeza. Ati 
wa Kenya wanatoka namna hii lakini bado kutakuwa na mazunguzo tukielekea huko mbele lakini kusema ya kwamba pesa mingi ije basi nani tunaunga mkono ipelekwe mpaka ifike kama kuanzia 35 kuelekea juu sawa sawa lakini vile vile iko nini caption pale ya kwamba hiyo pesa itumie kwa mambo ya maendeleo not for consumption recurrent expenditure should not be above 30% 70% should go for development. Kwa hiyo mambo ya TOCC nataka kwenda kufanya bonding hapo mkutano sisi tunakwenda kufanya benchmarking si nini wajumbe kuzuru watu wanakwenda kukagua kazi ya balozi si wapi na hapa na pale hiyo yote itoki. Ili tuwe na tuweze kutumika pesa zetu kwa maslahi wananchi kamili that is something that is coming here in this proposals so we want to see a new kenya and out of this a new kenya is going to emerge kenya that you all want to see you want to see all the people of kenya united working together as one people that was the purpose of this BBI thing. And we want to have this conversation. This conversation is going to continue for a period of time. And we are going to have a team of experts who are going to be able to sample the views which will have been expressed by the people of Kenya, different parts of the country. It will improve on these proposals which are here in this document. So I am confident that at the end of the day, you're going to have truly, truly a document that will represent the people of Kenya. But let it may remain with Wanjiku. Let it remain with Wanja, with Anyang, and uh, Duta. Uh, let it not bring it to our Bungi and Bayo and Angalia to come in Mazdawiya when you have let this be a people's document. The people should debate it, and eventually the people should approve it so that we have a national consensus on how we want to move forward as the people of Kenya. This is the kind of Kenya that we want. A Kenya that is united, a Kenya that is reconciled with itself. This is what I wanted to say tonight, today, and now it is my pleasure to invite my brother, Honorable Uhuru Migai Kinyat to come and talk to you and do another handshake in front of you.